Got him. Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I'm an old guy gaming, and we have found another locked crate. Let's open her up and see what's inside. All right, shotgun shells, rifle rounds, lots of copper, some nails, boards, pretty good stuff overall. All right, cool. So, yeah, I have uh, not a whole lot's happened since I left in the last episode. Um, I spent most of my time around the base doing stuff. Uh, we did make a mass storage unit, so that's been done. And um, that's pretty much really it. Wasn't planning on bringing you back right away, and but we found that lock crate. So, um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to actually do a little bit more looting and then head back to the base to drop off this loot. And I've got so I killed a, uh, a wolf, a couple wolves, actually. No, one wolf? I don't know. A wolf, at least one wolf. And I have some meat that i got to get back and get cooked up, too. So... Um, I think that's all I'm going to update you on right now, but I will, as always, bring you back uh, with a new update here in a little while. So, see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, uh, I'm back and we're going to go ahead and make ourselves a mass fabricator because uh, we're not going to have enough mass from the default, uh, what the BCU produces in order to make the workbench because we're going to need 120. Uh, we're going to want this anyways. Uh, I'd rather have the recycler, but the recycler costs 1,000 power, and this only costs 500. So we'll make this first, and we'll eventually get the recycler made as well. Okay, so we're going to grab those, and that should give us everything we need to craft this dude. And then we'll let the power build back up, and then we'll uh, run this to build 20 additional mass, and then at that point we should be able to make the workbench. Okay, so that's the plan there. Let's put all this stuff back in here for the moment. And we will put the mass fabricator... Uh, where are we going to put this guy? Uh, I guess we can just put it right here for now. That should be adequate. Okay. So yeah, we'll let the power build back up now. And then um, once we... Are at a point where we can run this. We'll run it to build an additional 20 mass to make that crafting bench. Okay, so I still haven't found the third set of hunters. Um, there was last night when I was looking. Um, uh, there is a campfire right here. Now that those could just be rogues. They're essentially directly east of the east pond there. Those are probably rogues, but I, again, I'm not 100% sure about that. And then these are the, you know, the first hunters, the birchwood hunters, I guess we'll call them. And then we got the south hunters, which are right in this neck of the woods here. Um, so we're going to, uh, I'd like to kind of go over here and see if those are rogues or if that's actually the actual third hunters. Uh, because as of right now, I still haven't found them. Fortunately, they haven't settled over here, which means, you know, we can always go this way to get, you know, to get somewhere and we're not like pinned in. So let's go investigate and see what, what these hunters are here. Um, I'm really good on food, water, and protein. I got an extra chicken, piece of chicken, and we do have a lock pick there. Let's go ahead and just top this off here. And we can just leave that water in there for now. And check it out. Uh, it is a kind of a crappy day today, but that's all right. Not too worried about it. What is it? It's August, so yeah, it's nice and warm. We don't have to really worry about getting too cold at this point. I really would like to come across some <clears throat> more cotton seed and some tomato seed. I have not found either one of those. Well, I haven't found a tomato seed at all yet, period. Uh, we did find some cotton seed earlier, and I used it all up to make the helmet, pretty much. So, um, we got to just keep, you know, keep our eye open for that stuff as we go along. This trap doesn't seem to be doing anything since I've set it over here, so I don't know. We might have to move it. In fact, you know what we could do? Yeah, why don't we do that right now? Why don't we just move it somewhere else? When it was over on the other side, it was it was doing, you know, quite well, but. Um, you know, it eventually 
broke and the problem with where it was is animals kept spawning over there all right so let's put it here and just see you know if that does anything okay that looks like potassium we really don't need no that's actually zinc ah oh, what the hell let's grab it we're doing pretty good really for ores right at the moment but we're not at the point where we're starting to use them to make stuff other than you know lock picks so you know that will get to the point where we're, we're gonna start needing it all the time nice more shotgun shells we'll take those yeah, we got a bear up there, so let's avoid him. So, yeah, at least, uh, you know, wherever the third set of hunters are, they have not settled in this area, or that would have made things a little tougher for us. We could have always, you know, we can always swim across the lake to get over, but that just takes a lot longer. And I'd rather run through here because, you know, then we can loot stuff along the way, too. All right, so we got a level three wolf down there, and what do we have down here? Level three wolf. Well, shit. Okay. Uh, and a bear there, too. Uh, why don't we... There's a crate, though, along the way. All right, let's dispatch this guy. Nice miss. All right. Okay, I shot one more time than I needed to, but better to be safe than sorry. Two meats, three fats. Okay, we do have to watch out for that guy. We might swim out just a little bit to avoid him. Like I've mentioned to you guys many times now, I do not like to kill bears. I don't have to, it's just not worth it. And then we'll hit this chest over here. Let's go. Okay, let's look at our map for a second. So those guys are right there. So they're basically over this way. Let's look around here. Level one bear there. Uh oh there they are. Okay. Yeah, those are definitely rogues. Most of them have their shirts off. Okay. Let's not mess with those guys. Not worth it. <clears throat> Let's run up to the arches and look for another locked crate and I wouldn't mind nailing that rabbit there what level is this wolf that was growling at us he's a level two okay and there is some scrap metal there too well you know what let's just leave it at yeah so still don't know where the third permanent hunters are can't imagine they would be much further north because you know they're supposed to set up camp in an you know in an arc around us like a little radius around us and I've been looking at nighttime you know for campfires and stuff and I just haven't noticed it okay, this is a level one wolfie let's get him Oh, for goodness sakes, what the hell? Oh, shit. Oh, man. That was sloppy. <laughs> Not my best. <clears throat> and we are infected. Lovely. 
<coughs> Excuse me. So we have our first infection of the playthrough. Um, I don't know if that arrow, the first arrow I shot broke or not. Oh, uh, no, it didn't. Okay, good. Good, good. Right, we get that back. And we got a locked crate. Nice. Okay, let's grab this one first. We're going to go back after we get the locked crate um, because we need the antidote. And we're going to have some nice loot in here that we don't want to risk. Okay, two shotgun shells. We finally... Oh, look at that. Finally got some tomato seeds, you guys, and some cotton seeds, too. That was wonderful. Okay, so you know what we're going to do now is we're going to make another farm plot. Uh, let's eat this right now. That was great. Okay. Very, very good. All right, let's go back to the base. Is that an ore or is that just the ground? I think that's just the ground. And uh, get fixed up with one of our uh, antibiotics. I got three of them, or antidotes, rather. And then see if we have the stuff we need to make a another crop plot. We have we have all the materials. It's just a matter of power and mass as usual. Um, what does the infection do again? I can't remember. There's not really any. thing that tells us what it does okay well it's not good is is what it does <laughs> maybe it affects our stamina regeneration or something I can't remember we just don't want it I know that much Oh, I know what it does. It reduces our health cap to 55. That's what it does. Okay. Not a good situation. Okay, let's go. That's right. Shut up, Wolf. mind getting those two ores we have a level one bear I guess we could kill him do I have any nines left I do yowzers that hurt Okay, let's go ahead. Uh, we're going to need to make some more bandages when we get back to the base. Ammo crate. Nice. Rifle rounds. We'll take them. We will take them. wonder if uh, moving our animal pen did anything. Or uh, animal trap, I should say. Oh, it sure did. Look at that. We got a live chicken in there. Hot damn. Okay. Um, Two blueberries. Yeah, we'll put those in there. To rebate it. Normally I would put three medicinal herbs, but I only have two on me, so. Alright, I think that's a sandstone. I'm not bothering with sandstone right now. The only thing you need it for is glass. Uh, we will want to make some jars, you know, so we can make jam and stuff, but... That's not something we are going to really concern ourselves with until we get our get a, a stove. 
Ah, oh, shoot. Too bad. That was an iron, too. We lost it. Okay. Let's come in here and get all that stuff out of there. We've got a bunch of meat to cook up. And I have enough seaweed to make another antidote because we have the liver here. So let's do that. And then, meanwhile, we're going to take this one. We also got some more fat. Uh, really happy that we finally found some tomato and, and some more cotton seeds. That is something we definitely needed to do. Let's keep this chicken alive for the moment. Okay, so that can go back in there. That can go back in there. We got six adhesive. Nice. You know, I never actually had to make adhesive... Not even once in season one, just because we always got so much of it from looting. Oh, look at that, two ropes. Wow, that was a nice find too. That, that stuff is pretty expensive to make. Okay, um, I'm gonna make two of these. Okay, let's put all that stuff away. Put these down here. Let's top off the stove. So we have 18 strawberries, which is pretty nice, man. We'll be able to make some jam with that when the, when the time comes. Let's put the extra rifle rounds in there, and we'll grab these and load them up. So I'm kind of just, with the exception of 9 mils, um, I'm kind of just carrying a fu fully loaded gun, you know, the magazine fully loaded, and leaving the rest of the ammo here so we don't lose it like we did before. I went back and looked at the video, too. We didn't actually lose that much ammo, but, I mean, even losing one piece of ammo is no bueno. We don't want to even lose one piece of ammo, man. Okay, put that stuff in there. Put this in here. All right, now, uh, what we want to do is we want to make ourselves a, another crop plot. So, uh, we're going to need 500 mass, or 100 mass and 500 power. So, we're going to have to wait for a little bit for that to build up in order to make that so we can get the tomato seeds and the new cotton seeds going that's our highest priority right now all right guys well i think what i'm going to do is just kind of hang around the base um and wait for that power and mass to build up i'll go cut the wood here and then uh when we get that the ready to make that next crop plot and plant the new seeds i'll bring you back and we'll go from there all right, guys, we have an attack here. Okay, he's dead. Anybody else? All right, let's grab uh, our hammer here. I don't think he's. Uh, I don't think any of them have actually hit the the base. Well, we got a little bit of damage there. Nothing s super bad though, really. Honestly, I guess that could warrant one hammer hit. All of our attacks have pretty much come from from the southwest here. Okay, yeah. Let's uh grab some nails. We got over a full stack of nails now too, by the way, which is amazing. And we'll hit that once. And I guess that's it. Did this get hit at all? No? What about this? Eh, not really. Alright, let's get the loot from this dude. Got a fuel brick, okay. Nothing too fantastic, but we'll take it. Alright, we are just about... Should be just about ready to make the crop plot. Uh, I'm actually running my... Uh, Jenny too. So yeah, we ha we should have enough. So we just need some scraps, boards, and uh, cordage. Very nice. Okay, let's make that. Yeah, we'll put all this stuff back in here. We'll save the fuel brick for later. All right, so we have. Uh, four tomato seeds and two cotton seeds, and we can plant two more things. Uh, I don't really want to plant medicinal 
plant seeds is just not worth it. You, you know, you I mean you get enough of them for looting. So why don't we do some? We could either do onions or carrots. Onions are actually pretty valuable uh, once we get the stove, because then we can make liver and onions. So yeah, I think we'll do that. We'll we'll plant those onions. Okay, let's let this keep running for a little bit longer, just to again build the start building the power back up, and we can now set down our next crop plot. Let's grab all of this out of here. Okay. And we're just going to put this one right next to this one for now. Alright, finally got some tomatoes and cotton, uh, and cot more cotton going. Beautiful. Tomatoes, uh, like I've mentioned, for those of you who don't know, are the single best carb food to eat. Um, it, you know, just straight up. <coughs> Excuse me, not counting, you know, recipes that you can then, you know, cook with other foods, including tomatoes themselves. Um, so, that's going to be great to... Uh, it's going to go a long ways towards sustaining us, uh, basically, with carbs. Uh, so I'm very happy to have those. All right, let's drink this, and then we'll go fill these guys up. I guess we got a little deeper in the water than I thought. We are doing really good. Okay, so now the next uh, thing that we want to shoot for is the workbench. Um, so that's going to be a little while though, because we got to build. Uh, we need 750 power and 120 mass. And I'm doing pretty good on biofuel, so I think I'm just going to let that. Well, we really shouldn't. Those I think, because you know that this will give us 500 power for free. It just takes time. I just wanted to get that crop plot going, so that's why I was running the gin. So yeah, let's let this just naturally uh, build up to 500, and then after that, then we'll turn the generator back on. Okay, well, um, let's go ahead, and I think I'm going to go ahead and cut the camera here, and just, I don't know, wait till morning, I guess, and then we'll go out and do some more looting or something. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Crap, we got another attack. Where is this one coming from? So he managed to actually get a Molotov off on us. Alright, we killed his ass. Uh, let's take a bandage. So it looks like it's on the wall there. Alright. Hmm. I wonder if that's... That must be the same... Well, actually, I don't know if it's the same group of hunters or not. Uh, they sure didn't come together if, if they were. There's something here I can loot. What is it? Blueberries. Okay, let's get our hammer and we're going to need nails and wood. Oh, no, we got more guys. We got more guys. Where are they? can't see a damn thing. It's so dark. Oh, there he is. Got him. So glad their bags float, man. Well, we got a shotgun shell back and some other stuff. That's good. So I don't know, it, se it almost seems like that was all the same group, but they didn't come all together, which is really weird. Yeah, I don't know. Really weird, man. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and repair this. 
the ceiling's good. The foundation is good enough. I don't think we need to do anything about that. This is good enough. What about this foundation? Yeah, I think we're pretty good, man. Not en not really enough damage here to warrant another hammer hit, other than that one wall, of course, which definitely needed it. And that foundation's five down, but not enough to worry. Oh, hey, look, free arrow. I'll take it. Okay, nice. Yeah, we can, I mean, if they if they want to just send one at a time, that's fine with me. <laughs> I have no problem with that. It just seems a little odd, is all. Well, let's uh, let's make another uh, another bandage. I'd I'd like to have you know at, at least two. Uh, ultimately, I want to have more, but I don't have a ton of cloth at the moment, so we'll just be somewhat conservative here. So we're up to twelve weapons parts, which is nice. Let's just top that off. And we got an extra shotgun shell, but we can store that in here because we already have a full shotgun. Uh, we do want to reload our rifle, though. And we want to reload our magnum. Okay, very good. And we still have two extra rifle shells left over. That stuff can go in there. Okay, I'm going to have two of these. Nope, I guess I'm only going to have one. That's all we need. All right, well, um, again, I will... I'm going to cut the camera here again, unless we get another attack. And I'll bring you guys back uh, with an update at some point. You know what we might actually consider doing? I'm assuming those guys came from over there. The problem is that... Well, you know what, though? They might not have respawned because most likely they attacked us after midnight. We ought to go over there and take and see. Now, we need two full picks to break through their door. Um, okay, so boards. Yeah, okay. And it takes about five minutes, you know, so it's a little while, but not super bad. I, I, I don't have the means right now to make grenades, of course. But... If all three of those guys were from the same base, then that means, and assuming, you know, they, they came after midnight, they're not they're not going to be there for the whole day, which means we can completely raid their base unopposed. Now, I'm going to, we're still going to assume maybe they are there, but hell, let's do it, man. Let's do it. Okay, so I think we're reasonably good shape. We got fully loaded weapons. Okay, yeah, let's go over there. This will be our first raid of Season 2. Why is there ashes? Oh, those are leaves. Oh, okay. It looked like, uh, <coughs> it looked like, you know, embers or something floating in the air. <laughs> I'm going, what the heck, man? Now, I could be completely wrong. You know, th those hunters could have come from the other base. Uh, or maybe some came from this and some came from that. I don't know. But we're going to go check it out. I did not need to bring my hammer with me. Okay, that's a little bit deep. Let's get another breath of air here. Yeah, I'm not going after that one. There's a bunny. Okay, let's go over here and see what happens. We are at full health. Well, there's a there's a damn bear there, so that isn't gonna help. This situation. Let's go around this way. Their base is just like right up here. A 
Loot this. Uh, I thought their base was right there. Oh, there it is. Um, they might have claymores out. But there is nobody around here, you guys. Access tonight, you think? I don't think so. I think we're going to get access. It's going to take a little while. Um... I would like to know where their claymore is. Maybe they might not have it down yet. Okay, well, I'm going to start banging on the wall here. And uh, I will bring you guys back right when we're about ready to break in. All right, guys, we're about ready to do this. Okay. So there was a dude in here. Okay, this is the prize here. Wow, look at all those nails. My goodness. That is a lot of nails. And we got a grenade, too. Okay. Um, 50 nails. Wow. That's pretty good. <laughs> that is pretty good. Not going to lie. Uh, can't complain about that, man. Can't complain about that. Okay. So these guys are still building up, of course. Um. They don't have much else going. I'm pretty sure just by kind of looking at the place that this is going to be Bravo. Uh, and I hope it is because Bravo's, um, <clears throat> they're a little bit better to raid than Alpha is. Um, very nice. Okay. Wow. 50 nails. That's, that's a hell of a lot of nails. Okay. Uh, while we're over here, they built right up against the fence, man. That's crazy. Um, let's make sure we don't run into a, Claymore. I want to just go take a quick look at that other base in the Birchwood and see. Uh, we got a damn bear. Oh, we got a bear that's damaged. All right. Well, you know what? Let's take him out then. He's been tang tangling with with hunters. He's in our way, anyways. Oh, there's a bunny. Oh, shit. He, he stopped moving right when I released the arrow. Uh, anyway, I want to go see what these other hunters are doing and see if we can determine if they're Alpha or Charlie. I hope they're Charlie because Alpha's just not... I mean, they're they're wor they're not... They're the least... Uh, they give you the least amount of stuff when you're raiding them is what I'm trying to say. Basically. I'm just trying to see if I can spot that rabbit. Oh, there he is. Got him. Okay. So let's kind of... move over here a little bit. We don't want to get too close to these guys. All right, I'm going to say that's probably Alpha, because if that was Charlie, they would have <clears throat> multiple foundations laid out. Oh, boy, that's going to suck, you guys, if Charlie is not in the game. Um, I'm wondering if it has something to do with how close, you know, my positioning and, you know, being near the fence and all that. I really would like Charlie to be in the game because they're going to give us the most stuff, like way more than the other two put together. Hmm. Okay. There's a hunter out there doing his thing. Let's kill this wolf here. Oh, he moved right when I shot the arrow. You bastard. We missed. 
Alright, hopefully that didn't get anybody's attention. There's a deer over there. Okay. Well, the one that's closest to us and the easiest to raid is Bravo, so that's at least we got that. Um I don't think I'm gonna piss Alpha off right now, because Bravo is definitely gonna retaliate from from what we just did. I don't have any more nines, do I? Oh, I do. So, yeah, let's not mess with Alpha. But I'm going to be really disappointed if Charlie's not in the game. That wolf is... Is that wolf damaged, too? No, he's not. All right. Well, let's just get him. He's right there. All right, well, our first raid went off without a hitch. We pretty much eliminated all but one of them when they attacked us in the night. And, if, you know, for those of you who don't know, the way the game works is that the hunters will respawn at midnight. So if you go and kill them all during the day, then at midnight they respawn uh, every single day. Which kind of sucks. I don't. I wish that it didn't work that way, but it does. I think if you take them out, they should be gone out of the game for several days before they come back. But that's not the way it works. Um, so fortunately, the hunters that attacked us attacked us after midnight, or at least two of the three of them did anyway. And that's why we only had that one in there to deal with when we broke through. So cool. All right, you guys. Well, I think we're probably out of time for this episode, so I'm going to let you go here. And as usual, I'm going to just keep doing the looting stuff. Keep looking for Charlie. I really, really hope Charlie's in the game somewhere. We just got to find him. And then um, I'll bring you back with another episode at some point in the very near future. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.